Charlie, if uh, you had to single out any one particular day that you spent in the majors, which one do you pick out as the best? Well, I kind of have to say, but uh, I was always tickled that when I played in New York and uh, had a grand slam when I got there. It's more personal to me. Well, a grand slam won't run up at everybody like it will every now and then. What's the best year you've had in baseball? Well, I've only been in baseball two years. I uh, that was down at uh, Louisville uh, two years ago, and last year I was at the Red Sox, and my best year was with Louisville. I had uh, 281, broke a lot of love and runs, had about 25 home runs. So I have to say that was my best year. You got over that 100 mark, that's when they start really counting up. You can talk to them, they start talking rates at 100. That's right. Uh, in the two years for Penn baseball, you can go up face with a bunch of pitchers and I've seen a lot of ball players that have come up into the majors that you have. Uh, is there any one pitcher that's out on that mound that you have to face that you'd rather not have out there? Well, it's a good player. <laughs> what do you think about anyone to think of? Well, uh, they're all good. Uh, you get uh, four good pitches in the game in the major league. And, uh, I guess uh, Lemon is a top notcher as well as. Uh, well, like the Cleveland staff is very good. Everybody seems to go along with you on it. Everybody says, well, if you have to take any bunch of pitches and get rid of them, get rid of the Red Sox. Uh, I mean, listen to the Indians, rather, and the Red Sox hitters. The pitchers all come back to this ball club. I wish your hope this turns out to be your finest year up there. Thanks an awful lot. Good luck. Thank you. All right.